Nikachi here with a couple of things to get off my chest this week, you know, as some of the things I've been writing to you about for a long time, not just over the past year, but um, the past half decade or so are now playing out in a very big way. Um, I would cite things like uh, a mass exodus uh, from high tax high tax jurisdictions to low tax jurisdictions, for example, uh, leaving Maryland to go to a no income a tax state like Washington state or my partner uh, moving to his family to Texas to take advantage of the uh, low tax regime there some number of years ago. And you see that um, sort of trend uh, snowballing, right? As all these companies are fleeing California to go to Texas, Elon Musk is taking uh, Tesla there announced last week. And so, um, you know, the trends that we point to and the reasons we do things and have uh, literally moved our families uh, across uh, the country to take advantage of the trends that are making the rich richer and the poor poorer. So let me talk about that for a second. Uh, top 1%, this came out last week, the top 1% earners in the country. That means if you own more than, or if you, yeah, if you earn more than half a million dollars a year, $500,000 in net income a year puts you in the 1%. Um, that 1% now owns as much wealth as the middle 60%, uh, the middle class and the uh, they're defining the middle class now as uh, income of um, up to uh, like one hundred and forty or one hundred and fifty thousand uh, dollars a year. So if you're making one hundred and forty thousand dollars a year, you're at the upper end of the middle class. And now uh, that's not your fault. That's uh, the fault of your government and the monetary policy that they pursue alongside uh, the Fed, which is supposed to be a non-governmental entity that make the dollars worth less. Uh, and things cost more. Let's talk about things costing more, uh, which has been a very firm trend for the past year while the government and the mainstream media said that it was transitory, right? Um, this inflation is going to be transitory. We're blaming it on supply chain bottlenecks. And yet uh, prices for everything continue to go up. And I've laid out how to profit from that for a very long time. You own the assets, you own the commodities that are, that are inflating in price because of monetary devaluation and the larger trends that are at hand. In this case, the electrification of everything and trillions being spent to reduce the amount of carbon in the atmosphere, which requires a lot of commodities to produce batteries and solar panels and wind turbines, etc. I've known this for a long time. Um, I've also known that those policies uh, create this uh, uh, wealth inequality that I just described, right? And so I made up my mind uh, to be on the right side of that uh, wealth divide. And so uh, you might be feeling that it's becoming increasingly miserable if you're on the other side of that divide, which is why I've been preaching for years and years and years um, that, you know, uh, being wealthy or having money or being in that 1% isn't a goal in and of itself, but it allows you to live a much easier life and do the things that you want to do. So um, how do you do that? Well, not by following the mainstream and not by relying on other people and certainly by not relying on the government. Here's what I mean by that. Um, the mainstream was telling you that inflation didn't exist for the past year. Uh, I told you a couple of weeks ago about how uh, the guy I keep a half a million bucks with to sort of as a yardstick for my own money management to see how well I do is telling me that, you know, they're um, outweighed the number one rating they got uh, my money in is like, um, uh, financials and, and healthcare, while the top performing sectors of the year are energy and real estate. And so, um, you know, a professional money manager isn't allocating my capital to where it performs the best. Only I can do that for myself, just like only you can do that for yourself. Now, you're probably thinking, well, I don't know what sectors are outperforming, right? And that's where I'm going to tell you, well, that's what I do, right? I write newsletters every week to tell you why the mainstream doesn't know what the fuck they're talking about um, and how you can manage your money for yourself. And so, um, now what's happened is the perfect time to explain to you because Bloomberg was out with an article just this week with a white flag waving saying price inflation is not transitory. It's here to stay. Essentially, we were wrong. Right. And so you had the entire mainstream financial media, press and money managers for the past year on the complete wrong side of the inflation trade. Um, and they're 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 on the wrong side of. Uh, a lot of trades very often because uh, the market has left them by, the retail investor has risen um, and can now invest on their own via uh, funds and uh, ETFs, which is why you've seen the, the rise of Wall Street bets, et cetera. And so 
Um, are you concentrating your wealth is the question. Are you getting uh, to the other side of that divide that's only getting worse? Remember what I just said, the top 1% who earn $500,000 a year or more now own as much wealth as the entire middle class, which cuts off at like $141,000. So um, it's hard to get out of that middle class when uh, the entire system, financial, media, government, et cetera, is set up to keep you in that middle class, right? That's their tax base. Um, even I'm still in the tax base. And tomorrow's tax day for me, October 15th. I sent a big check today uh, to the IRS, the, the Treasury Department, in fact, is where you pay your taxes to. And um, that means I pay more taxes than billionaires, which is sort of um, really puts a point on the, the point I'm trying to make, right? The more you make, um, the better things are for you, the more you make the system work for yourself, right? Billionaires pay zero in taxes. And, uh, you know, I got myself to the 1% and I'm writing big checks to the government. So uh, they're not on your side. I continue to say, um, you know, until you make it to the other side of that wealth divide, you continue to be uh, at the mercy of uh, what I call the system, right? Uh, getting caught up in uh, financial planners and earning market returns. And, and like I say, they're not doing what's best for your bottom line. So um, I'll continue to preach. I'll continue to say the best place to put your money is in an account that you manage um, by uh, tuning out the noise, by tuning out the uh, narratives of Wall Street and by listening to uh, independent thinkers and money managers if you can't figure it all out for yourself. Nikaj signing off for now.